we are Jonty and Millie, and along with our kids, we look for the amazing wonders of our world, living in Singapore and exploring beyond. Welcome to Wonderlust. We've just arrived at the Science Centre. We're looking for the Omni Theatre. We're a little bit late, unfortunately. Uh, it just took forever to get a taxi this morning. I don't know why they were chilling out, but we had a really friendly taxi driver. We're here now and we need to hurry. Was, um, that was cool. It was very, very immersive. It actually really reminded me of... Um, we went to Futuroscope in France. And we went to a similar sort of cinema where the, you kind of like sat down really comfy chairs and laid back and looked at the ceiling. And there's this huge space thing. But that one felt like you were moving, which is really weird. It made me feel a bit troublesome. But this one here was just really, really cool. Yeah, it kind of felt at times like you were in a submarine like going through the water and then other times like flying over things and it was a really cute storyline about um, sea lions and protecting them um, I really enjoyed it it was really good and it's next to the science centre which we've been yep. loads of times we just realised we're outside the toilet we're outside the bathroom <laughs> <laughs> kids always need the bathroom they are ready to go and explore um, Kids Stop the Omni Theatre was good we watched the whole movie Captain, you ready? Center's baby sister. Um, it's aimed at younger children and everything is really hands-on. Aspen's gone off into like an archaeological dinosaur digging this sand, bones in the sand you can uncover. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool. So just like at the Science Center, there's lots of little sections here. There's a building area over here, so everything to do with construction. I'm at the supermarket. We're in the supermarket, which is a really nice little area, and there's lots of little kids around, and it kind of makes me miss when our kids were little. There's absolutely no way does it make me miss <laughs> when our kids were little. It's cute. I used to come to places like this all the time with Milo. They can get a little basket, pick up the food, scan it, and then head over to the little play kitchen. You still go to places like that. It's called NTUC. It was boring as an adult going to NTUC, and then you actually have to, then you have to actually pay for the items and carry them home yourself. This. This is fun! This is cute! <laughs> Hello, I'm Mr. Fishy. What's your favourite bit so far? This. Why? Because I like the fish. Because I like fish. There's a little section here on health, including your emotional health. It's just so good. I love that Singapore's teaching emotional health to kids from a really, really young age. The kids have just been testing out different booths which talks about when they might be sad or angry or happy or whatever. And I just think it's so good that it's like drawing awareness to their feelings and um, yeah, it's absolutely brilliant. like little fish, little insects, there's just enough um, to just have like a little look around and then move on to see something else. So it's got a little bit of everything in here, which is nice. I know this font. Back in the UK, I had a um, music education franchise called Mr. Tan the Music Man. And that's the font we use, so it suddenly brought everything back to me. <laughs> Somehow I'm always 
always the one that ends up going inside the soft clay and the climbing areas. up all these clouds you end up in this big kind of music area you can make loads of different sounds loads of different noise yeah. having a really nice time here as we mentioned it is aimed at slightly younger kids um our two are still getting an awful lot out of here um i think for younger kids it's just great to get exploring and seeing everything that's here and we love the science center because it's so hands-on and this it has the same feel the big climbing friends. so gracefully well they're closing soon and everything has been reset so beautifully and to think it'll just be trash in a moment <laughs> Aspen loves this <laughs> our time here is up which was really really good we're gonna go and have some lunch and then probably explore a bit more of the science center which will be cool yep. but then we're gonna take you guys from here the west all the way over to the east we're going over to some friend house uh, a friend house for dinner this evening and we just want to spend some time in Katong, Tu Chat area, and we'll show you some of that um, now. So after a long journey on the train and a short journey on a bus where all these kids fell asleep, including Millie, uh, we are now in the east, which is great. We are very close to the I-12 of Katong, which is a new-ish um, mall, which is cool. I know it very well because my Cairo has got a little space there where I come every now and again. But we are going to a pretty awful cafe over here which I'm taking the kids to before we go to some friend's house uh, tonight. And we've arrived. This is an awful, awful place. Kids, kids, yeah. Refreshed after a nap on the amount of Oh, I needed that nap. We are at Awfully Chocolate, which is a local chocolatier here in Singapore, which is fantastic. And this is their cafe. I've tried to get seats in here before with some friends of mine and it was in an evening, I think it was a Thursday night and they didn't let us come in. It was, um, I think it was during the COVID time where we had to sit in twos and all that sort of stuff. So it was a bit of a struggle, but we're here now, which is great. And I really feel in the mood for coffee, but we're awfully chocolate. So I'm going to have a hot chocolate and see what it's like. I think I have a spiced tea, spiced pear tea, something cold, maybe something sweet to eat. Have a little drink, see what you think. Oh, that's hot chocolate. Yeah. This is my first taste of an awfully chocolate hot chocolate. Made with 70% dark chocolate. There's some just hanging out on the side. Mm. 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 Oh my goodness. It's like thick and creamy, it is amazing. The chocolate croissant? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, so chocolate from our chocolate hair. Oh, yeah. Is it on? Yeah. Oh, well, I want to send them to have a look. Yeah, it's a fresh chocolate from our chocolate hair. It's from the chocolate tap. Do you guys yeah. want to go see the tap? Yeah. Go see the tap, buddy. Millie's trying my hot chocolate. Hey, that's my chocolate, don't you? Is it good? 
I can't quite believe how indulgent this is. It's ridiculous. I mean, every sip just tastes like the most incredible chocolate bar. Um, not even chocolate bar, like pieces of chocolate. It's amazing. Um, Family will laugh at me because I didn't order chocolate. Like, I've tried all of their hot chocolate, so it's fine. Well, it's nothing cold. Yeah, it's nice in here. I'm enjoying it. It is really raining outside, um, so I think we might have to hop it over to the shopping mile after this, but it's really nice being in here. It's getting busier as well. Lovely place. Saw you dancing in the bathroom. Saw you dancing in there, doing your hair. on Milo into giving her a piggyback around the shopping mall, but uh, <laughs> never mind. There's a few new shops in here that I haven't seen in other shopping malls before, and we just had to do some regular boring errand shopping. Um, now I realize I've ended up got to carry it around, but never mind. So I really enjoy this mall. It's nice, open, airy, um, so it's nice to go and find some different shops, and this is where Junty comes for Cairo as well, so it's nice to see where he ends up. I heard that there was a climbing wall here, there was a climb central, especially as we love bouldering, but I've never ever seen it here before. And here's why, it's on the top floor, it's tucked away. Uh, we actually came here because I saw a bookshop and I just thought it'd be nice to have a little check out and see what, what books are on sale here. Um, we love sort of exploring bookshops for the kids, um, not just to look for my own book, obviously. I'm not that sad, although sometimes I do look for it. Um, those of you who don't know, um, I am an author. I wrote a book called The Local Immigrant and you're able to get it in the link below as well as at Popular Bookstore, Kinokunia, places like that. But here is a little junior kids bookshop that we love checking out um, for our kids and um, they have a real passion for reading too which is awesome. Those of you who live in Singapore know exactly what it's like when it rains and you're trying to get a taxi. They're few and far between. We're actually just going to a friend's house for dinner and they just live a few minutes down the road. But no one wants to pick us up yet, so we're in the taxi stand. We're queuing up, we're waiting, we're trying to book a taxi. But we've had a really, really lovely day so far. We can't wait to hang out with our friends tonight. And um, we've got the kids with us still, don't worry, we haven't ditched them. Um, but uh, yeah, we hope you've had a good day with us. Watching, do drop us some comments or some of your favorite places for us to go to. We're looking for more shopping malls to go and check out, some more cafes. So let us know what's in your area and why we should come and visit. Take care, we'll see you soon. Bye.